This is Belt Drive Betty, and I'm at Smuggler's Cove, which is in the Buren Peninsula of Newfoundland. And I'm being joined by the Noseworthy family, who are responsible for a ride here called Joanna's Memorial Ride, Ride the Boot. So Ruben, tell me a little bit about how this ride came to be. In 2005, uh, our daughter was killed in a car accident along with my mother. And my daughter was a hair designer, as she liked to be called. So uh, we uh, started to build a park in her memory called Joanna's Day Spa for Kids. And in order to do that, a local ride group here, we had a little charity run for to raise money for the park. And one of the guys said, uh, let's do this every year. And now we're at number eight now. That's phenomenal. Tell me, Barbara, how you felt about getting involved with doing a memorial ride for your daughter. I think uh, every year when I think about it, it's always a bittersweet time because it is a memorial. But we focus on what we can do with the good from it. And when you think about all the kids and the families of those children with cancer, uh, you know, it makes everything worthwhile to do. But it's fabulous to see the support we get from the community that helps us keep her memory alive. That's got to be an emotional, uh, emotional thing to deal with. And you've chosen the candle lighters as the charity for this year. Is that the charity that you uh, ride for now every year? Yeah, well, we, we, we signed up with the candle lighters about five years ago. And we decided to stay with them for the long term. It's a great cause, it's a great group, and uh, they support us and we support them. Here in Newfoundland, they operate Camp Delight, one of the things they do. Candlelighters are a support group, but Camp Delight is a special camp for kids, where, where the kids look at them, the best thing about cancer is camp. That's wonderful. Now Michael, as Joanna's brother, tell me what this ride means to you. It means family getting together and keeping her memory alive. Uh, she was a wonderful person, she was a lively person, and she's here now amongst all the bikes, uh, enjoying herself and probably in having a beer. How much money has your your ride raised so far in eight years of, of putting it on? In eight years now, we have delivered over $100,000 to charity. That's pretty impressive. She must be awfully proud of you guys. She is. Her job is to take care of the weather. As you can see, we had no rain today. Uh, her job is to take care of the weather. We'll organize the ride. I look around at some 500 people, 400 people that are here. What does that do to a mother's heart to see all of this support? It just overwhelms me <laughs> because that's one of the biggest things about the ride today. I'm, I'm riding and I'm thinking about all the bikers behind me and it just, just fills me with gratitude, not just for the support that we get locally from the riders that we are with, the wonderful committee that we have, but we have riders who keep coming back every year um, for Joanna's ride, and that means so much. That they're the biggest charitable bunch of bikers that exist. They're, they just support every charity on the go. I try to get to four or five charity rides every year, and so does every biker. And you know yourself that Biking is more about just riding down the highway on two wheels. Absolutely. It's a wonderful family to be part of, isn't it? It is. It's a motorcycling community. I've made so many friends since we started motorcycling years back, and uh, I keep on making more. I want to thank you deeply for sharing a little bit of this very emotional and heavy day with me. Uh, it's emotional and heavy, and yet it's lighthearted and amazingly warm. Well, thank you for coming down and promoting, helping us promote the ride and, and do the, the little footage that you've done with us. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you again.